Welcome to Freaky. We've got some awesome stories for you this week. And in case you're wondering why I'm a little nervous, I'm in a graveyard. I don't know about you, but I find them just a bit scary. <laughs> I'm not listening. this time. I'm going to live way longer than that. And get your facts right, I was born in 
Could you tell me when we're going to get an inside toilet? I'm working on it. Renovating takes time. And do we really have to have a graveyard in our back garden? I'm just getting a little tired of all the ghosts chasing me. The house was cheap. Besides, they're not really that bad, you yeah, was. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Good luck with the run back. Hey, did you bring some toilet paper? Yeah. Whenever you go camping, you always hear scary noises from outside the tent. But what would you do if you heard them from inside the tent? Tonight? If you want. What's that? It's the tent. I got that in an old second hand store for ten bucks. It's probably been up a few mountains in its time. We're not expecting snowstorms, Dad. Feels cold. Probably just needs airing out. Why don't you put it up? Take it or leave it. is just useless at pitching tents. And not us! So... When you're finished putting it up, you can come and help me get dinner ready. Dad does a pretty good barbie, eh? Yeah, I like my steak crispy. <laughs> it adds to the flavour. <laughs> Dad, did you bring the chainsaw for this? Yeah, could you pass me that axe? Hey guys, the tent is... Nothing. See that, didn't you? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, I give you mum and dad. Wait, let's check the tent again first. Maybe we imagined it. Both of us? Look at our socks. It's snow. Okay. This tent is haunted. Who ever heard of a haunted tent? <sighs> I'm going on a caravan. Don't go. They want to spend one night in this tent. Go on. We can sleep in shifts. 
All right, but I'm on first watch. Just nod it off, it's okay. Listen, can you hear that? It's getting worse. April 12th. The weather's turned bad. If I don't make a move now... I'll never reach the summit. Probably some wind and a, a shadow. No, Dad, it was a ghost. We saw it, Dad. It was a man. He looked like a climber and he wrote in a diary. <gasps> a diary! What are they up to? Oh. <sighs> this is a Mountaineers journal from 1949. Now, do you believe us? This is a map of where he was going. Can we sleep in the caravan? Ooh. I don't know how this got here. Day 12. The weather's closing in. Amazing. The expedition to Mount Cook, using the map discovered by a local family, found the body of missing climber Derek Henson, who died attempting the first solo climb of New Zealand's highest peak. Well, I think you should have let us tell them about the ghost. <laughs> Trust me, we did the right thing. We should send the tent back to the Henson family, though. What do you think? Yeah, where is it? Oh, I packed it away in the cage. It's amazing what you find when you're clearing out old junk. <laughs> My old footy. My old softball glove. Freaky Dice, as featured in the next story. You can get your own pen now for one easy payment of $29.95. Guaranteed fun for the whole family. Just call this number. I'm um, sorry. Ah, oh, my snorkel. <gasps> Bobby! It's my sister's, I swear.
Great work, guys. Keep it up. It's really nice of you to help out, Jeremy. Do you want to stay for tea? That'd be cool. All right, then. I'll go and call your parents. Man, this sucks. I feel like my arms are going to fall off. I can't believe you're complaining. I'm carrying this thing on my own. Yeah, James, get over it. James, there's lots of breakable <laughs> stuff in this. James! Oi, you kids, keep the noise down. Moving into that house, are we? I'd be careful if I was you. Things in there that look pretty good, but really... Yeah. OK, thank you. You freaky old man. <laughs> right. Well, first, let's start with the most important stuff, like... The, the TV! TV. Hey, the TV's not working. Well, have you tried the remote? Yeah, yeah, I've tried it. What about the aerial? No, the... Oh. It's not plugged in. How was I supposed to know? Oh. All right, try it now. There's the cool sudden debris. More snow flurries to 300 metres on the hills. Now look out for some showers coming through your patch of the road. Most unusual, Christchurch, four up to seven. So more snow and sleet showers affecting Oh my gosh! Totally ugly for Wellington. What? Gale suddenly is about to hit you. Look at these dice. I found them on top of that cupboard. And when they rolled out of the box, they came up the score on the netball. And then I rolled them again. And they came out the temperature on the weather. Yeah, right. Good one. It's true, it happened twice. All right then, let's see if they work with something else. Hey, Mr. Hawkins, when did you and Mrs. Hawkins get married? Uh, 87. Ooh, wicked dice, Kate. They stumbled onto something amazing here. Ah, kids, don't listen to your father. We got married in 1988. Lovely, isn't it? remember the most romantic day of our lives. Sorry, honey. And that is three times in a row. Whoa. Do you think this is for real? I don't know. Maybe. If it is, these things could be very useful, if you know what I mean. A hey, quiet, please. OK, no peeking yet. You've got half an hour. Away you go. James, he cheated. Yeah, yeah, I know. Guys, what's up with the hood, Obi-Wan? I really need your help. Why did you get detention for cheating? Bummer. No, no, look, this is serious. Why? What happened? Well, I went home after school and I started feeling a bit sick. Mum told me to have a sleep and when I woke up, something really weird had happened. What do you mean? Uh... Jeremy, what is it? Uh, well, have a look. Ah! What is that? I don't know. Why me? Oh no! No, that's it! The dice. Of course it's the dice. The widow old man from next door, remember? He said... I'll be careful if I was you. Things in there that look pretty good. Really? Really? They're not good. They're bad. Oh, that freaky old man, he knew all along. We've got to get rid of them. What about me? I guess you're lucky you didn't use them for anything too serious. Sleep it off or something. Better than that. I'm going to tell Mr. Pawsey I cheated on the maths test. 
Well, that's the last time I ever want to see those dice again. I reckon. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey Jeremy. Man, that was close. So you just admitted to cheating and you got your face back? Yep. Really? Yeah. It's a bit of a bummer too because I, I got 100%. Oh man, stink. Yeah. I know. Yeah. 12, 22, yeah. 36. <laughs> I'm sure her face will clear up with a bit of moisturizer. I guess the moral of that story is, if you find some freaky dice that predict the future, don't give them to mum. I'll see you guys next. My little pony, which is my sister's little pony, honest. I'll see you guys next week for another three freaky stories. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.